Welcome to another episode of Interfaith Connections and Cross Cultural Conversations, the podcast where we explore the intersections between different religious traditions and foster understanding among diverse communities. Today, we delve into the personality of John the Baptist, known as Yahya in Islamic heritage. In the Quran, we find the presence of three prominent figures from the New Testament, namely Jesus Christ, his mother Mary, and John the Baptist. The Quran mentions John the Baptist multiple times using the name the prophet Yahya, which is the equivalent of John in the pre-Islamic Arabian Peninsula. The Quran shares the story of John's birth in three places. In Surat al-Imran, we learn about the supplication of Zechariah, who beseeched God to grant him a righteous child. Gog responds to Zechariah's prayer by announcing the glad tidings of John, a prophet who will confirm the coming of God's word and possess honor, chastity, and righteousness. This divine announcement aligns with the Gospel of Luke, where it is mentioned that John's birth was foretold by angel Gabriel. An interesting aspect of this narrative is the sign given to Zechariah to confirm the birth of John. God instructs Zechariah to remain silent for three nights despite being in good health. This sign of temporary muteness is also mentioned in the Gospel of Luke, but extends throughout the entire duration of the pregnancy. In Luke's Gospel, it is mentioned that Zechariah asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? I'm an old man and my wife is well along in years. The angel then responded, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until the day this happens, because you did not believe my words. In another surah of the Quran, the Surat of Maryam dedicates a significant portion of its verses to the discussion about John. Zechariah seeks God's favor, asking for a righteous son who will inherit from him and the family of Jacob. The inheritance referred to here goes beyond material wealth. It encompasses prophethood and righteousness. In the Quran, John is instructed to take the scripture with determination. This sentence highlights that obtaining knowledge requires diligence and consistent effort. Also, it refers to John's early acquisition of wisdom that enabled him to grasp the secrets of Torah even before he grew up. In Surat Maryam, we find a more elaborate description of John's character, and there are rumors that he received kindness and purity from God. What mattered most is that he did not show arrogance or disobedience towards his Lord. The concluding part of Surah conveys blessings to him for receiving peace on three important occasions, his birth, the day of his death, and upon being resurrected. Jesus' statement about himself in the same Surah is echoed by this verse. The resurrection of John and Jesus receiving good news on the day of judgment is mentioned by both the Quran as well as Islamic interpretation. However, the distinction between Christian and Islamic beliefs on the resurrection of Jesus revolves around when it happened. According to Christians, it's already occurred. While discussing about John the Baptist in its narration, it is noteworthy that some crucial events mentioned in the New Testament are not present in the Quran, such as Jesus' baptism by John or the important testimony of John about the divine appearance of Jesus. In the New Testament, John the Baptist testified that Jesus was the Lamb of God sent to take away the sins of the world. In contrast, the Quran showcases John as a glowing individual who is both loved and respected by Muslims. That final note concludes our exploration of John the Baptist, or Yahya, as mentioned in the Quran and Islamic heritage. We hope you found this discussion enlightening and informative, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.